I think we're all shocked, you know, around the world, you know, when we got those text messages or we picked up our Twitter feed. So it was a sad day. It was a sad day overall for the thoroughbred business uh, across the world. I would say it shook me to the core. And, you know, most of the people uh, um, that I talked to, it really shook them uh, to their core. So when you put that together with the fact that, you know, nobody can say any longer that when you dope a horse, right, you don't put that horse in danger. You do. We know from the indictments that, right, that there are horses that died. And you know, very few of us in the business, right, don't say we love horses. It's an emotional time for all of us because we know what happened in those barns and we know, right, there, that uh, there were quite a few horses that we know of that are now dead. So we just have to get better and we, we have to change our path of the industry, right? Because we can't let this happen again. We really can't. You know, you read the indictments and, and you know, you realize that the core of the, of the case was uh, built around the intelligence that they gathered, uh, you know, via text and, and the cell phone. So uh, I think the big part of it and a big part of, of, of the thing that we're missing internally in the thoroughbred business uh, are actually the boots on the ground. And I'm just, I'm appreciative of the FBI and the federal authorities that actually gave us the boots on the ground. The Horse Racing Integrity Act, I think is an answer uh, to the particular problem of actually getting boots on the ground for the industry. And uh, um, I think if we come together, I think we can, we can come out of this um, in a bigger and a stronger way. And I think we're all complicit. I really do. And I'm not, I'm not, I'm not trying to be out of the ordinary or uh, I'm not trying to be silly, but uh, we all know uh, that you can't win at 35 or 40 or in the summer you can't win at 45 percent. I'd rather not get into that. I'd rather just say, you know, we, we know the things that we didn't do as an industry and as individuals uh, to call people out that were, were, were totally outside the box. And I would hope that in the future we're going to call those people out and we're going to address those situations. So we can't change the past, but we can have an impact on the future. And I, I uh, you know, I have a lot of confidence that you know, we're going to continue to uh, come together as an industry uh, to make our great sport better. You look at those indicators and I think we're starting to see now where there's smoke, there is almost always fire. And, and we have to follow those, uh, the trails of smoke in our business um, in a more definitive and I'd say a, a, a more a deliberate way. And I think when we do that and we have a better structure, we're going to be better off as an industry. And then you combine that with the claimers that, that jump up you know, 10 and 15 points. We all know, like that's, that's what we missed. Or I don't think anybody, I, I don't think we missed it. I just don't think we took action. And, and uh, I think a part of that was, you know, what do we do? What do we do? So I, I think part of it was our culture. And our culture has to get better. And it has gotten better over the last 12 months. We all know that. I, I think that that's been clear. But we, we have a lot of upside to improving our, our culture, that's for sure. That the cheaters were able, able to beat us in, uh, on the racetrack, right? Well, I would offer to you right, that we can't let them beat us in the future. When you look at it, it it's like we let the two drivers of our industry down, right? The horses and the betters. And look, uh, we acknowledge that. We, we know th that we messed up as an industry. We're all complicit in it. Now, I'll turn that around. We have a chance to earn back that trust of, of our betters, right? Because they love the game and we promise you that that, that will be our sole focus is, is to give you a fair shot in the future. And to the horses, like we, we all look at them every day. We, we derive so much. And I just say, you know, just think about those horses and we are their voices. I have a lot of confidence that we're going to come together and we're going to do exactly that. We're going to take care of the betters and we're going to take care of horses. That's what we all want. Just load, you know, the horses that are, are, they mean so much to us, right? Put them in a starting gate and let the best one on that particular day in a clean environment and a clean setting, right? Get to the wire first. And if we do that day after day, you know, year after year, our industry, right, can't help 
but to get better and better and better. And uh, you know, clean racing. I'd like to think that all of us will look back on the 9th of March uh, 2020 as a, a day that really turned the tide for our, our industry. And I, I truly believe that. And I, I, know, I know a lot of us have uh, talked to people uh, right from all over the world. And, and that is the thing that bubbles up in almost every conversation is we've got to take advantage of this. And, and I really have a lot of confidence in the people that, that, that truly love our business that we're going to do exactly that.